The Life of Zambia's Kenneth David Kaunda Kenneth Kaunda was born April 28, 1924 in Lubwa near Chinsali in northern Rhodesia, which is now Zambia. He is a politician who led Zambia to independence in 1964 and served as the country's president until 1991. There is speculation that the region that Kaunda was born in was actually Nyasaland at the time, which is now Malawi. Upon Kaunda's return to Zambia in 1949, he joined the first major anti-colonial organization in northern Rhodesia, which is the African National Congress, and in 1950s, he assumed the role of Secretary General. Inner turmoil in the organization caused it to split, with Kaunda becoming the president of the newly formed Zambian African National Congress. Kaunda and several activists were imprisoned but later released in 1960. He was elected president of the new United National Independence Party, UNIP, which had been formed in October 1959. And when the first major elections leading to final decolonization were held in October 1962, the UNIP and the ANC gained a majority of the votes. The UNIP was the ultimate winner, gaining 15 out of the 37 seats in the new Legislative Council. In 1972, Kaunda instituted a one-party rule policy through the new constitution to effectively cement his power. And at the same time, Kaunda assisted other countries in Southern Africa in confronting the white minority governments of Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, and South Africa. He applied pressure on Rhodesia by imposing economic sanctions at a great expense to his country's own economy. And he also allowed Zambia to be used as a base by black nationalist guerrillas led by Joshua Nkomo from Zimbabwe. Kaunda's support for black nationalist movements in Rhodesia, Southwest Africa, Angola, and Mozambique aggravated economic problems in the struggling New Republic. And even with the threat of several coups, Kaunda managed to keep power and was elected again in one candidate elections in 1978 and 1983. Worsening economic conditions and international pressure forced Kaunda to change the rules that had kept him in power for so long. And when multi-party elections were held in 1991, Frederick Chiluba, the leader of the Movement for Multiple Democracy, defeated him. Chiluba tried several times to get Kaunda to leave Zambia, including accusing him of being Malawian. He was briefly stripped of his Zambian citizenship in 1999, but the decision was overturned the following year. Kaunda threatened to run against Chiluba, but was barred from doing so by constitutional amendments that made him ineligible. On December 25, 1997, Kaunda was arrested on charges of inciting an attempted coup that had occurred earlier that year. Kaunda was rele released six days later, but was placed under house arrest. The charges were later withdrawn in June 1998, and he resigned as president of UNIP in 2000. In 2002, Kaunda was appointed the Balfa African President in Residence at Boston University in the United States, a position he held until 2004. In 2003, Kaunda was also awarded the Grand Order of the Eagle in Zambia by Chiluba's successor, President Levi Mwanawasa. Mr. Kaunda's contribution to the liberation of Zambia is well noted and appreciated. However, his dictatorship in the name of a one-party democracy and mismanagement of the economy cannot go unchallenged.